What's up, you guys? It's John o. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Steam VR for your Oculus Rift S headset. Now, I have the brand new Oculus Rift S headset. You guys know I've been messing around with this thing quite a bit, and it's a little bit hard to do some stuff, so tutorials are necessary. I was actually getting through the steps to set up Steam VR for myself, so I thought I should hit the recorder and show all of you guys just in case it helps somebody out. So, if you like this content, if this video helps you, please drop a like hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below to help somebody else out if you figure out some way to do this any way that's easier than what I show in this video. Now, I haven't fully got this set up yet. I'm about to set it up for the first time on video. If I have any really long, confusing parts, I'll edit them out. But for the most part, what I'm going to do is just try to show you how to get started and set this up because it's actually kind of confusing. Let's get right into it. First off, I am over at the Steam powered store. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. We have Steam VR. Just in case you're looking for the URL for exactly where I'm at right now it's right there on the screen okay so this is steam vr you're gonna have to install this don't hit the install button it's just gonna install steam i don't know why they have that there just hit play now and if you already have the game installed then it will play it and if you don't have it installed then it will install it so you can hit play now that is the button you want to click once you click that it's going to keep on launching your oculus software even though you don't want to use the oculus software so it's a little bit strange if you close the oculus software it will close steam vr it wasn't doing that the first time when i started setting this up but it's doing it every time since i started recording this video so i'm just going to go through the setup and see what happens you can see that it keeps on showing my vr headset and then not showing it that's why it keeps turning green down here it shows my two controllers that's these guys right here that's why they're green and it also shows my xbox controller which is always plugged in via usb so that's why that shows there now let's go over to standing only because i'm just going to be sitting here in my desk while I do this so I just want to get set up and show you guys I actually recommend doing room scale but I'm not going to set up my green screen and my cameras and everything to do room scale it's a whole different filming setup this is my live stream setup it's a little bit easier for me to execute a video this way it's less setup less time for me so that's why I did it that way but I do recommend playing room scale but I'm going to set up standing only just so I can have it be as simple as possible now it says my controller is ready my other controller is ready and my headset is ready so we're good to go we don't have to establish tracking we don't have to do any of this even though this looks really cool skip it because we have an oculus rift s there's no tracking it has a bunch of cameras built in that's how it does your tracking it's all on board so we're good to go we can just hit next no problem all right now we need to calibrate the center it says stand in the middle of your cleared space while holding the headset so that it's facing the default direction and i'm gonna do that just by grabbing the little head strap up here on top we're gonna face it the direction that i plan to face which is towards my monitor and then we're gonna calibrate center so there we go we're calibrating center right now all right headset is ready you can see it's lit up down here that means we're good to go I haven't gotten this far so let's go ahead and see locate the floor place the headset on a stable surface and click the calibrate floor button then measure the vertical distance between the surface and the floor and enter it below what how am I supposed to measure this um it's about three feet which is about 36 inches so I'm just gonna give it 36 inches I have no idea what that is supposed okay i mean fair enough that my desk is about three feet tall i think so okay setup is complete we're good to go we're about to have a dance party in here now what i don't understand is how do i get into steam i guess i'm going to put on the headset and we'll see what we see when we get in here oh my god i'm in steam you guys i'm in steam this is crazy i'm in steam okay cool Cool. Okay, hang on, hang on. I got to show you guys what I'm seeing. So let me switch over to... There we go. Okay, so I'm using the Oculus mirroring software. For any of you YouTubers out there who are wondering how I got my screen to mirror, the same Oculus mirror technology works just fine in the regular old headset. I'm using Oculus mirror. I'm using Steam VR. It's working just fine. I'm sorry if I said that really unclear, but uh, Oculus mirror, you just open it and it shows what's on your headset. I mean, it works. So that's fantastic. It says press the B button or Y button on your controller to begin. 
Welcome to Steam VR. In Steam VR, you can visit real and imaginary places with friends. To open and close this menu, use B or Y button on your controller. That's great. Uh, to teleport, push forward on the joystick. You'll see an arc that ends with a green circle on the ground. Release the joystick to teleport to the green circle. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to need that later. All right, we can quick access menus. I think we're done here. So let's go ahead and see um set as home that's fine let's let's go home because i'm looking for my games you guys i'm looking for my games wow this is so beautiful it it put me in a really nice although kind of small room now let's go see where's my library oh there it is there it is you guys that's it that's the game that i wanted to play spare teeth this is the game that i really wanted to play okay so i reached out to the developer of this game on his youtube channel where he demoed this game and I said, hey, dude, I love this game. How do I get myself a copy of it? And he was like, you know what? I got you, fam. I got you. So uh, he gave me a copy of it. Now, my, my, I'm facing the wrong way, you guys. I'm facing the wrong way. Hold on. Okay, so I'm facing the wrong way to begin with. I'm supposed to be back there. It says stand inside the glowing circle to play. Oh, I, I moved forward like barely and did it. Hold on, did it? I have no idea. Anyway, this is where I got stuck last time. I'm going to get as close to my desk as I possibly can. Okay, well, anyway, I got into the game. I got further than I got last time. Let's go back out. Oh, wow, I'm in my Oculus. Wow. Dude, I hit the Oculus button and I went to my Oculus menu. That's crazy. So I am running the Oculus software, but I'm running the Steam VR software in the Oculus software. That's so weird. Anyway, I'm a little bit stuck now. How do I get... Mm. Anyway, you guys, I got a little bit stuck, but as you can see, I did get into Steam VR. So guess what? My tutorial works Basically, let's go through the steps that we had to go through here, you guys, just to wrap it up for this video. All right, let's go back to my desktop scene. All right, let me switch over. Um, hold on, let me switch over to my browser. All right, so we went to the browser. We installed Steam VR. When you open up Steam VR, you want to reset or do the update on your devices. It'll say update device right there. That might actually be grayed out, so you may have to restart the Steam VR app to get it to work, or you may want to even try unplugging and plugging back in your VR headset. That might do it too. But I would try to launch the Steam VR app after you've already plugged in your headset. That's probably the best tip. Anyway, you should be able to get in pretty easily. And like I said, it really wasn't that bad. I got it to launch. That's what I had to do. So if it's not working that easily for you, put a comment down below. I will try to respond to comments. I always check my comments every morning. So if a comment comes in, I usually respond to it. So I'm pretty good about that stuff. But anyway, that's how easy it was. It really wasn't too bad. I got everything hooked up. I went through the setup. And once I did that, I just put on the headset and everything was working just fine. So yeah, and just make sure you don't close the VR software, the Oculus software. Apparently it does need to run the software. I actually tried to film this video for like 10 minutes by closing this software and it just would not work. It would not work. So I had to leave the software open. And as you can see within the headset, it's actually utilizing the Rift software. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. So I hit the home button, like my regular old home button. And there it is. I'm in the Rift software. That's my Rift dashboard right there. So this Rift dashboard is my is my regular dashboard. We can go look at my monitor. We can do all that stuff. So it's kind of interesting what we actually have here. But then what's really weird is I'm turned backwards. So that's going to be some kind of I'm going to have to fix this somehow. I got to figure this out. But anyway, what I wanted to do was get Steam VR installed and make sure that I can actually get this far and be in virtual reality in my Rift S headset and use Steam VR. And of course, we did it. So I guess I'm done here. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be the end for this video. I do want to play Rooster Teeth. I'm really, really excited to play this. And uh, 
You guys can see that I'm turned around backwards and I'm not going to be able to play until I can figure that out. So who knows? We'll have to figure it out. But at least I got into Steam VR and I'm feeling pretty good about that. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to upload this video for you guys to learn from. Hopefully you guys are able to get into Steam VR. And if you cannot, post me a comment. I'll try to help you. If this did work for you, smack that like and subscribe. We're going to be doing more VR content on the channel in the future. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you to my amazing subscribers and... Peace.